If you are watching this video, you may have been told you or someone you love has a chromosomal abnormality. It can be very overwhelming to receive this information and not know where to turn or how to process it. In this video, we will explain what a chromosomal abnormality is, show you some common genetic variations, and tell you about some resources where you can connect with other families. Please be aware that this video has not been produced by medical professionals and is intended only for informational purposes. You should always consult your doctors for more information. First, let's brush up on what a chromosome is. Within each cell of our bodies, we have a blueprint, a set of instructions that tells our bodies how to operate. And within those instructions are chromosomes. Those chromosomes are numbered from largest to smallest, with number one being the largest. In general, most people have 23 pairs for a total of 46 chromosomes. Typically, people get 23 chromosomes from their mother and 23 from their father and they join up in pairs. Usually those pairs mirror each other, but sometimes small changes can occur in chromosomes, so one may be longer, shorter, or different in another way from how they typically look. Sometimes these chromosome changes don't seem to have any effect, and other times they do. Here are a few examples of differences that can affect chromosomes. This is an example of a deletion, the part with an X represents genetic material that has been cut out of the chromosome and lost, so the new chromosome is shorter than it typically would be. This is an example of a duplication. The light green section represents genetic material that has been copied and put back into the chromosome, so now there's twice as much of that genetic material as is typical. This one shows an inversion. This means the genetic material was cut, flipped upside down, and reinserted back into the chromosome. This is an example of translocation. The light green area represents genetic material that is cut out from one chromosome and attached to another chromosome. This is an example of trisomy. That means that there are three chromosomes instead of two. Trisomy can be a copy of an entire or part of a chromosome. Down syndrome is due to trisomy 21. This is an example of monosomy. This means there's only one chromosome instead of two. An example of this is Turner syndrome, when a person has only one sex chromosome, only one X chromosome. This is an example of a ring formation in which two ends of the chromosome stick together. There's often some genetic material lost at the two ends of the chromosome before it sticks together. Mosaicism is another term you may hear. People with mosaicism have a mix of cells that are typical or normal and cells that are not typical. For instance, a person with mosaicism of trisomy 18 has some cells that have a typical chromosome 18 and some cells that have abnormal copies of 18. Usually, the greater number of abnormal cells they have, the more impaired they will be. Chromosomes are divided into two halves called arms. The shorter arm is called P and the longer arm is called Q. You may hear of genetic conditions that have a number followed by the letter P or Q. The number tells you which chromosome is affected and the letter P or Q tells you which arm is affected. Let's look at an example. Let's say you hear about a condition called duplication 8P. The number 8 refers to chromosome 8, and the P tells you the abnormality is on the short arm P. Sometimes the P or Q may be followed by a string of numbers. The numbers correlate to genetic material on the chromosome. The numbers tell doctors at which point the genetic material has been disrupted. So if you hear of 8Q22 duplication, that means that there is a duplication, an extra copy of some genetic material, on the long arm Q of chromosome 8 at the section called 22. If you hear about a condition called 8P23 deletion, that means on chromosome 8, the short arm P is missing part of the chromosome at that section called 23. You may hear something that combines P and Q, such as duplication 8q deletion 8p. That means that there's more than one abnormality on the chromosome and both arms are affected. This can also happen with more than one chromosome. We used chromosome 8 for this example, but in general this could be applied to the other chromosomes as well. These are just a few examples. A really good resource to understand this concept and to explain it to children or even other adults is the book Chromosome Kids Like Me by Annette Fournier. It compares chromosome disorders to mismatched socks in a way that is very easy to understand and a great resource for families or classrooms. 
It also has an author's note that breaks down various chromosome disorders in a really simple way. We recommend you check out this book for an easy to understand guide to chromosome disorders. It's available on Amazon for paperback or Kindle, and you can check the video description for a link to the book. Chromosome abnormalities are a natural occurrence. Sometimes they just happen. Sometimes the condition is inherited from the parents, who also share the abnormality, or sometimes it happens by chance and it's not inherited. This is called de novo. So what does it mean if you or someone you love has a chromosome disorder? Well, that depends on a lot of things. It can depend on which genetic material has been altered and how much. The effects can range from mild to significant. No one can really tell you how a person will develop in the future, especially for people with rare chromosome disorders. There are many types of developmental therapies you can try to help children gain new skills, and if you haven't heard about these, ask your doctor. Regardless of genetic differences, everyone is still an individual who has unique gifts and abilities. If you or someone you love has been diagnosed, remember that it's just a name, just a label that can help you get services. The important thing to know is that a diagnosis is not the end of the world. Many people with chromosomal differences live full, happy lives. Still, accepting a diagnosis and finding the right services can be difficult and take some time. You can join groups on Facebook, such as Unique, or the support group called Chromosome Kids Like Me, where families can connect and find other parents who understand what they're going through. As you learn more about this diagnosis, remember that you're not alone. Reach out for the support of other families who understand the journey of life with a rare chromosome condition. Thank you for watching, and please click like and share this video with others if you found it helpful.